Jen going on there. We'll see if red is better. No, red's not any better. Okay, so last time, this is where we left off. We had the back sloper finished. This is the center back. This is gonna be the center front. We had the arms eye complete. The shoulder seam, the neck seam complete. We have our side seam complete because it was drawn on there already. So if we were to detach this paper right here, then we would have a back sloper. We're gonna keep it attached until we finish the front sloper just to make sure that we have it consistent and that our arm's eye is nice and smooth. And then we're going to take an arm's eye circumference measurement on the paper before we transition to the sleeve, just to make sure that our cap line in the sleeve will fit in this opening and we don't have too many sleeve complications. So we are going to be starting up at the top left corner up there by D. And remember I told you that you needed to remember what this measurement was from A to A junior. You need to know that measurement because we are going to take that measurement plus a quarter of an inch and you are going to make K junior. So K junior is A to A junior plus a quarter of an inch. <clears throat> We are going to come the same distance down the side from D, and this is going to become I junior, and we're going to square out this box. Now the book has slightly different measurements. It says the one across the back of the neck should be an eighth of an inch smaller and the one coming down the side should be a quarter of an inch longer than A to A junior. I have found that's just too minute of a difference to make a difference. So I just keep them both a quarter of an inch and the measurement's the same. And then we work it out on fabric at the end. Yes, Natasha? Where is A to A junior again? Right here. Oh. In the back. That is your back neck width. That was your chest divided by 12 plus a quarter of an inch. Which is what this distance here is. Yeah. 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 Yes. So this distance here should be the same as this distance here plus a quarter of an inch. Okay. And that same distance should come down and so this box should be square. That makes this point here J Junior. Just so we're all consistent. Got the box drawn? I'll give you a minute. Once you have the box, John, you're going to draw a diagonal line from J Jr not junior, from K junior to I junior. This is not a real line, so don't get too excited about it. You're gonna find the midpoint of that line. Then you're gonna put um, M, we've already used M junior. We're gonna put L junior, seven eighths of an inch into the shirt from the midpoint on that line. So we're gonna draw this line and it's just a fake line. We're gonna find the midpoint of this line 
and then we're going to drop a L Jr. 7 eighths of an inch in this direction. Then you're going to use a curve and you're going to draw your neck, your front neck opening. And it's going to start at K, it must hit, hit L Jr. and it's going to end at I. And you want it to be really smooth. And that becomes your neck. Now that we have your neck done, we're just going to do your shoulder seam. So we're going to come down from L regular. We're going to come down an inch and a half. And this becomes O junior. Now you're going to take this same distance from B to D junior and you're going to drop from K through O junior. And that becomes, oh, just kidding. This becomes O junior. This is N junior because it's not a real, not a real thing. It's just a through point. good okay the distance between n junior and k we're going to cut this in thirds the second third down is going to become p junior you need to do the same distance from i to h junior over here that becomes q junior and you're just gonna smooth out your line. Now this arm's eye is not gonna look like any arm's eye you've ever seen in the history of arm's eyes. <laughs> because the top, the front and the back don't line up on the side. Why do you think that is? Why do you think the front shoulder seam sits lower than the back shoulder seam, even though they have to connect and meet at the shoulder seam? Why is this one higher than this one? Because you've got shoulder blade back here and you need rotation movement. So we have more fabric back here to account for our shoulder blades. This math is not always perfect. If your shoulder seams are coming way in here, then you, when you cut them out of fabric, you're gonna have duck bills. And then we reshape that arm's eye at the fabric stage and reshape your cap sleeve to fit that. That's the number one adjustment that gets made wrong at the math stage in drafting is the arm's eye curve. <laughs> 